All right, Ramshackle here, and today I am going to be drawing a science fiction landscape. I'll explain the process over a time lapse video of the drawing so that if you want to use it as a guide, you totally can. And I'll go over the supplies you'll need right now. Um, I'm going to be using this Canson Bristol. This is an 11 by 17 pad, um, and I'm going to be cutting one of the pieces in half to give me an 11, eight and a half by 11 sheet. And uh, yeah, but you can use any paper, any of these you can substitute with pretty much anything else um, that you have on hand. Um, I'm going to be using this two millimeter lead holder. Um, you could substitute a number two pencil or a mechanical pencil. This eraser, any eraser will do. Some sort of straight edge. This is a uh, Fiskars acrylic uh, ruler here. And then I'll be inking with these uh, Twisby Eco fountain pens. But yeah, like I said, any supplies that you want to use, you can substitute. If you don't have fountain pens, that's totally fine. Use uh, some microns or even a ballpoint. Um, you know, if you don't have nice Bristol, you can draw on some printer paper or uh, trash, you know, you know, get a piece of cardboard out of the recycle bin and, uh, you know, just draw on trash. That's, you know, that's what I always say. Just draw on trash. Um, so yeah, anyways, go ahead. And if you have any questions, hop down into my comments. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button, maybe consider subscribing and yeah, let's get to it. So yeah, I am just starting out by drawing a border and then a horizon line. And then, yeah, I'm going to jump right into it, drawing some, uh, some shapes just from imagination, really. Um, just thinking of edges and stuff that might look kind of neat and uh, going for it um, from there. I kind of decide on a, an overall um, composition in my head before I start, you know, like a kind of a pillar coming up on the left hand side and then a, a stack of rocks on the right and then the horizon with mountains in the background. But that's about as far as I plan it. Um, and then, yeah, I like to start um, shading in with some hatching. Um, pretty early on just to get, I don't know, kind of an idea of the direction I'm headed with it and just get an idea of, you know, what the, you know, the contrast between the, the foreground and the background is going to look like, you know, before I start, you know, I want one to be kind of filled in before I start working on the other. Um, that way I don't go like, you know, really dark with the background right up next to a um, foreground edge that's also dark. Um, yeah, and you just kind of want to like keep the, keep stuff like that in mind while you're going. If you're going to work like this, anyways, you don't. You absolutely, you absolutely do not have to work like this. You can, you can sketch and then, you know, just uh, ink it in on top of that um, if you want. I just, I like doing it this way. I find it like, um, relaxing and meditative almost. Um, but yeah, I'm just, uh, cruising through with my hatching. Um, I like to follow kind of the contour. Like I imagine the contour of the surface that I'm shading. And then I just kind of follow that with the hatching or sometimes I fo I'll follow the light direction um 
but yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, you just, and I'll just go with that and, um, draw cool, cool looking shapes, little details here and there. But yeah, more, uh, more shaping, more shading. I'm really going to flesh out this, uh, foreground piece before I start working on the the background, right? Because I don't want to, I don't want to lose the contrast. Yeah, I decided that the, these um, should be stones kind of piled up, like, you know, um, sandstone, you know, deserty looking stuff. Um, and then, yeah, here I decided it kind of need, I wanted it to look like um, some sort of alien technology. So I was thinking, I was just kind of imagining like circuitry and, um, you know, mechanical shapes in, in all those little details. But then, you know, I didn't want it to like um, get too mechanical. So I kind of added some lumpy textures down below and. Yeah, some more organic looking stuff. I like to kind of mix it together when I'm drawing something that's supposed to look alien. Um, um, but yeah, more uh, hatching. Um, I think a lot of people call this style like the line shading. I think a lot of people call it cross hatching, but it's actually not cross hatching. Um, it's just hatching, um, and for it to be cross hatching, it has to, you know, have lines crossing over each other, right? Um, I don't like to do a lot of cross hatching. Um, it gets too dark and kind of out of control uh, a little quickly. I feel like uh, I feel like cross hatching is one of those things you got to really plan out. Um, but hatching, you can get away with, uh, you know, being a little more loose. Um, yeah, I just started adding cracks in the stones and stuff. You know, just filling all that in, all that little texture. You know. cruising along. It doesn't really matter where it goes, you know, what shapes, just, you know, just make shapes. Make little bulges and bumps and different stuff like that, you know, and if you're doing this, it doesn't matter if yours looks like stone or wood or uh, whatever texture. Um, especially if you don't have a lot of, uh, experience doing it. Um, just kind of go with what comes out. You know, if it, if you, if you're trying to draw a stone and it ends up looking like wood, then just, you know, make it, make it wood. Right. Um, oh yeah. So I start, I started the contour lines on this, these, uh, mountains and, um, I kind of started them in an angle. Um, it was intentional on the mountain and then coming down off of it, I just kind of went with it. Um, and then, yeah, slowly turned it downwards and I kind of made this crevice here. You'll see, um, just kind of going with the flow. I didn't really plan that out. Um, when you're doing this ground texture like this, um, what really gives it a lot of depth is if you have little short lines towards the horizon, see those, all those little short lines, and then you want to make the, the lines get longer and the shapes bigger, the closer towards the bottom of the page you get, right? And that's like foreshortening. Um, but yeah, then yeah, I decided to uh, add some clouds in there, give it a little, uh, you know, dreamy, dreamlike quality. Um, these, 
hash marks are following kind of a concentric, I, I kind of imagine concentric circles radiating out from the opening in the, uh, that, the, um, I don't know what to call it, that kind of monolith type shape. Um, almost like the sun was like right behind the hole in it. So I, I kind of imagined concentric circles coming out, radiating out from there. And then I just followed those lines with the, you know, those imaginary lines with the, the hash marks as I went around. That's why I flipped it. And then, yeah, I decided right here, I decided to line it up with the crevice um, in the ground there. And, uh, yeah, just kind of extend that straight upward. I don't know why. I thought it looked neat. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, and it's, you know, it's your, especially with sci-fi, it's your, um, it's your little world, right? You can make it however you want. It doesn't have to make sense. Um, you know, it, I think it makes it more interesting if there are elements of it that don't make sense, right? Yeah, and I'm I'm just uh, hatching my way up. This is kind of tedious, but it's also kind of, you know, relaxing. You just kind of zone out and fill in a big section with some hatching. Adding a, a little texture to the clouds there. And then, yeah, I, just, I came back through with a this um, thicker fountain pen and made them stand out a little bit more. Yeah, and then you sign it, erase uh, any little pencil lines showing up, and uh, yeah, and that's that. All right, well, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, um, I love you, and uh, make sure you uh, hit that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, if you have any questions for me, uh, hit up my comment section and, uh, yeah. Thanks a lot. Bye.